we're going to do the robo taxi thing too. Only criticism, and it's a fair one, and sometimes I'm not on time. <laughs> but I get it done, and the Tesla team gets it done. So what we're going to do this year uh, is we're going to reach uh, combined production of 10,000 a week between SX and 3. Feel very confident about that. Uh, and we feel very confident about being feature complete with self-driving. Um, next year, we'll expand the product line with Model Y and Semi. Uh, and we expect to have the first operating robo-taxis next year with no one in them next year. It's always difficult to, like, when, when things are on an exponential, at, at an exponential rate of improvement, it's, it's, it's very difficult to kind of wrap one's mind around it because we're used to extrapolating on a linear basis. I've been feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone Gonna get past these few cars. If you can see there, there's a red to indicate something's in the way for the auto steer. So now, now this is the standard autopilot, and the button just here, press now, we get a single blue line. And it's now on navigate on autopilot. One of the features of navigate on autopilot is lane change. And in a moment, it's probably going to tell me there we go, I can turn. So I indicate, put a small amount of steering input. And the car is now bringing itself into this lane. It's obviously driving itself. So if I want to change lane, I indicate. So I'm going to change now. There's a car just coming in, but it's a blue box. You can see at the moment it's showing the red line. So let's try again. And now a little bit of wheel force. And the car drives itself and is now sitting in the other lane. What I've seen, if there's not a vehicle ahead of you on the inside lane for more than a few hundred yards it's now telling me to go back in that lane so I can either indicate which I will this time and the car itself will oh it's refused to do it this time for whatever reason so let's put all the pilot back in just try again slight turning turning force and I think it's because if you don't keep the indicator on, it aborts the manoeuvre. So I've got a lorry ahead. It's just starting to indicate the lorry there. Slowing the car down. The other car is out of the way, so I'm going to indicate right. Got a blue box, and now the car itself is moving across. We'll start accelerating.
I've been using the system for uh, a couple of days and even though self-driving is good it's just uh, cruise control and it helps the car now but slight force on the wheel just to stop the blue so it knows I'm controlling the car it is a little bit gimmicky still in the UK because it doesn't have the ability to um, come onto an off ramp if you're wanting to get off the motorway it'll ask you to indicate and the next turn is six miles away so I'll just stop the video for a while and we'll come back to that as we get closer to the off ramp come back now we're in um, traffic the reason I recorded this is it's asking me to request a lane change to keep away from cones it doesn't like the cones it is steering itself but it would rather I moved across which is strange but you see when it requests me to change you get a view from that camera on that side I've asked the car to keep a gap of two car lengths. You can adjust that using the wheel on the right hand side of the steering wheel. So it says we're leaving the average speed zone. You have to put quite a lot of force still on the wheel, even though it's steering itself. It's asking me for a lane change to get away from the cones. It doesn't like cones. Speed is set maximum 71 and it'll start to accelerate. Now we've left the 40 zone. Quite slowly. So just to be clear, navigate an autopilot is when you engage the button here, which gives you the single blue line. Now we need to come off junction 13. Let's see how the automatic system handles. It's a big space ahead, so I imagine it will now ask me to pull into the left. That's quite happy in the centre lane. The other cars now appearing on the display. It's just what I do when I'm so Try not to hold me down, feel alive. Through my 
we have to exit the cones are coming up request lane change so I've requested it and yeah it was gonna miss that completely so I had to intervene then maybe it was the cones that was putting it off So I'm steering the car now. Sees the red light, but they've now gone green. I'm gonna accelerate myself. <phone rings> Told me there was a red light there, which I quite clearly wasn't. So never get an autopilot so again. And it dropped out. Let's try again. And it's dropped out again telling me to take control of the wheel because the vehicle is departing the lane it was departing itself try one more time and this is the latest version of the software in the UK it's clear ahead in the left lane it's not asked me to change lanes. I'm going to indicate it's given me a blue box and it didn't want to go, so it's dropped out again. Last time. Okay, it's perfectly clear in the left lane. Indicate, it says apply a slight force. So, do I like never getting autopilot? It isn't really working. I may as well just have the indications on so many beeps and bongs. Um, you have to spend so much time watching it that it is just easier to drive yourself. I like using the cruise control to keep an eye on my speed coming up behind a car now, indicate. <coughs> and it's dropped out. So there you go. Anyway, thanks very much. If there's any more events during the drive, I'll try and get it on camera. Thanks very much. So here we are again. We're in Navigate and Autopilot. On the motorway we need to come off of the 43 Just going to see how it handles this. Not worried about the roundabout because it's not meant to be able to go around roundabouts. Let's see if he can manage the exit.
Okay, upcoming lane change. It's going to pull behind this truck ahead. That's okay, 65 miles an hour. Two hundred meters, press lane change, and it says to follow the route. So the car has steered itself. I've taken over the steering, so it's not supposed to steer around roundabouts. It's now breaking down to 40. Thirty, which is really slow. Because there's nothing ahead. Twenty miles an hour. No. I'm just gonna have to drive myself. Now it's wanting to accelerate on the bed. I think it was gonna try and go to 70 miles an hour. Which was interesting on a roundabout. So I was overly cautious. Down to 20 miles an hour and it still wasn't going to go. I think it was just going to stop. So if I was ordering a new Tesla now, would I get full self-driving? I'll put the price up on the video now. It's really just not worth anything at the moment in the UK. Um, it's fun to have this tech, but in the real world, it just doesn't work. Remember that was with no traffic around. So, well, there you go. Thanks a lot. So, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you already have a Tesla with full self driving and does it work very well? Or are you thinking of buying a Tesla soon? Are you going to go for enhanced autopilot or full self driving? As I say, I'd love to know what your thoughts are and let me know. Thanks for watching. See you next time.